Welcome to the brand new series called Surprise Egg yeah. to Metal. Yeah. In each episode, I will open between one and three surprise eggs. Sometimes I'll just open an egg and turn whatever's inside into a metal version of a toy. Or I might modify it to make it more interesting or transform it into something completely different. Let's see. I hope I can open the chocolate without breaking it into 100 pieces. It's a toy car. I like it. This one I like. Oh yeah, this is awesome. The plastic toy car was quite thin in a few places, so to increase my chances of succeeding, I used some cheese wax to make it thicker. I used my baby bell cheese wax spruce that I made in a previous video. Because the sprues are so soft, you don't need a soldering iron, you can just attach them by hand. Because the wax is soft, I put it in the freezer for around 10 minutes before covering it with plaster. I used plaster of Paris from a hardware store mixed with some sand. Then I dried the mold in my air fryer and then transferred it to my microwave kiln to burn it out. If you're new, I have videos about kiln making and microwave metal melting on my channel. I won't go into details in this video. I'm gonna melt some aluminum. You can cool the mold pretty quickly if you blow some air on it. Let's see how it turned out. There are some air bubbles inside of the car, but other than that, it came out great. I picked up a new tool, an airbrush, and this is the first time I'm using it. It's a great tool, but I'll need to keep practicing. I made a few mistakes, one of them was touch the paint when it was still wet. For that reason I decided to change the direction of the project and make the car look like somebody has been playing with it for a long time. A toy car that has seen better days. So the only thing that's left from plastic is the wheels. Kinder Surprise, the king of surprise eggs. At least it used to be. I remember opening Kinder Eggs as a kid, so... Oh yeah. Nice one. Open. Oh, it's a turtle. Turtle. So I printed this little sprue. And now I'm gonna hot glue the turtle to it. This time I'm gonna make my mold out of sand and sodium silicate, also known as water glass.
first I froze the mold. Then I hardened the sodium silicate by microwaving the mold on a defrost setting using a cycle timer. And after that, I used my microwave kiln to burn it out. I like to collect the molten plastic in a tray instead of burning it. The mold has reached almost 450 degrees Celsius. It's the next day, the mold has been burned out and I'm just enlarging the opening where I'm gonna pour the metal. I'm gonna cover the mold with aluminum foil tape. It can help to keep the mold together in case it cracks. I will also pull some vacuum even though I don't think we need it. I'm gonna melt some bronze. To make the metal more interesting, I'm gonna dip it in liver of sulfur. If you used it before, you'll know that it smells like... Well, you know. Did you just fart? I did not sand the turtle, only the parts where the sprues were attached were sanded. And for that reason the eyes didn't come out as black as I would like them to. So I sanded the eyes and dipped the head in liver of sulfur one more time. And here we have a wee bronze turtle. Wait a minute. Michelangelo, you're too small to eat that, my son. You need to grow up first. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like to let me know. Subscribe if you haven't, because this is only the first episode.